What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi and we are three weeks into um, fruiting with our cordyceps mushrooms. So I wanted to do an update today and um, just kind of go through what I've observed so far up until this point. So it was nine weeks until we place it into fruiting and then we're at third, um, well we're about to be in the third week of fruiting. So nine and three so we're on week 12 since ascospore and you can see we've got some really good growth um i kind of reorganized some of the jars um to put the pinning jars at the forefront for this time lapse video so you can see um i've got the c3 c8 c3 c10 and C3, C10. So this is um, C3, C10 on TSB and C3, C10 on honey. Um, so this one right here has the TSB. You can see some baby pins that are forming um, mostly on the side here. And then this one's got a bunch of pins that it's forming on top. And then you can come over to the C3, C8 and it looks like there's some pins forming there and then C3, C9. So from this observation, um, it seems like the C3 uh, isolate is the strongest that I selected out of those 11. So I'm really excited. I've got, you know, a really strong isolate and you can see um, this one right here, C3, C9 has a really nice pin that's about to take off. So I've got the time lapse on here that is going to, you know, keep everything going quickly so we can see in a really condensed fashion um, how these mushrooms are fruiting. And you can come over here. We've got one of our first trays that's fully colonized that's just starting to pin. So I'm not sure if you can see that through all the condensation, but um, so one out of five of our um, trays had colonized and the other ones had some contamination problems but you can see we've got an array of our phenotypes and two really promising um, jars from the same phenotype and then two more different phenotypes and I kind of wanted to go over some of my observations with um, the substrate so I'll take a couple of these jars into the lab and kind of go over that. Okay guys, so I've got those um, three different phenotypes here in the hood. So we've got C3, C10 on TSB. And you can see how even this um, colonization is. It doesn't seem to have this really defined orange segment in the substrate which the shorter substrate seems to have a lot of that um, really dark orange mass where the TSB substrate doesn't have that I'm not really sure what that is it could be some kind of cordyceps in production or some kind of exudate that um, the mycelium is creating to make the substrate more habitable but you can see with the honey solution there's like this really dark line that's forming um, but if you observe a little bit more closely you can see the baby pin sets starting to form on the surface so that's really excited um, this one has a little bit more equal distribution where if you come over to the honey you can see a really dense cluster right in the middle of um, that's where all these pin sets are starting so I imagine that this one's going to have a really dense cluster of um, fruiting bodies where this one is going to have more sporadic fruiting bodies. And then if we come over to this other phenotype here, you can see um, we've got a really nice pin forming right here. And you can see like the dense um, tissue that's forming along the bottom. So one note that I wanted to make um, going through this whole experiment here is you can see the big difference in the substrates that I use, um, the volume of substrate that I use for the jars. So um, it's actually the same volume, but this 
jar is a lot wider than these ones so it kind of spread out and it's not as tall and that's kind of the observation that I wanted to make so you can see um, I've got a ruler here so I'll try to level this out so everyone can see it um, so this right here is at one inch exactly su the substrate but it's probably about an eighth of an inch of glass below so it's just under an inch and this one had colonized very quickly um, you can see it's got that really nice pin that's forming and if I come over to all my other substrates it's more around two inches and then this one's more about one and a half inches so I kind of was curious to see you know will you get more rigorous growth if you have more substrate and just from this very first round I'm noting that you know less is more um, as far as this fruiting body compared to the colonization rate and um, just the size of that fruiting body so in the future I'm gonna probably use even a half an inch of um, substrate because that's gonna you know save time save costs and hopefully get us um, some faster fruits all right guys so that is the week 12 update on our cordyceps project it is um, the very beginning of October so hopefully these will fruit out in time for Halloween um, I'm really excited to get our strains out there I started uh, pulling from the slants of these phenotypes and the C3 C10 that's in there and um, I feel like these three are the most promising so I'll start off by releasing these phenotypes and I'll continue the update on the fruiting and get that time-lapse video I'm really excited as I'm starting to analyze that in um, really hyper speed you can see how the cordyceps maneuvers through the substrate so I'll be posting that video as soon as it's ready um, I also am planning on some kind of a, a name um, promotion uh, I got three different phenotypes and I don't really know what the the fruiting bodies will do but right now I've got three really promising strains and I'm gonna probably do some kind of naming pr promotion in the near future um, especially when those fruit out so stay tuned on that um, and I'm just gonna be posting the time-lapse probably on the last update video um, I have a few clips that I've been saving on my computer but it's not really a whole lot because they haven't been pinning yet but it's kind of cool to see the other mushrooms in the tent um, fruiting really rapidly so that's kind of neat and that will be um, part of the time-lapse video as well all right guys so give us a thumbs up if you enjoy our content subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these um, share our content if you think anyone else will find it useful and comment if you have any ideas or names for these phenotypes um, c3 is the big isolate that we got so it's um the most viable isolate is our c3 and then we've got c8 c9 and c10 that were successfully mated and started to pin so really exciting times guys um, thanks again for following along and subscribing and you guys have been so um, helpful with your questions and if you have any more ideas or videos you'd like to see just uh, shoot me an email or you know leave a comment below I'm pretty good at answering all the questions and I really look forward to continuing this project alright guys until next time much love